What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video on the Cyber Healer channel. And in today's video, I'm bringing you guys the top 5 best attackers of Rainbow Six Siege. So, let's get into this video. Two things before we start. Make sure you subscribe. Let's try to hit 50 by the end of the year. That would be great. And if you want to pick up some sweet peripherals for the holiday season, go down below and you can pick out a mice, headset, anything like that. And without further ado, let's get into this dang video. Alright, so... Coming in at number 5 on our list is going to be Thermite the Termite. And yes, I think it's funnier to say his name that way. Alright, so Thermite's a hard reacher, so you can't really go wrong with picking Thermite. He's going to be good in most situations. You can't really not pick him. He's great. I just think he's outshined by other operators on this list. For instance, most operators on this list have three of their ability he only has two breach charges so that can cause a lot of missed opportunities if using the ability incorrectly you can only open up two walls rather than maybe many holes with H habana or something later on just saying he doesn't bring half frags or anything like that so he is getting put at number 5 on this list. Not to say that he doesn't really have anything bad. He's just not better than the other operators on here. Moving on, we're going to have Maverick. And I personally really like playing Maverick. I have, I think, 100 hours on him or something like that. So I have a lot of time on Mav. But, unfortunately, he's outclassed by other operators. His hard breaching is great. Because he doesn't have to worry about Cade or Bandit Traps. That's really good. But if you don't know how to use Maverick, he is a useless operator that will get grant you no utility. And the only reason you really bring a Maverick is, in the long run of it, only to open up walls if they have Bandit or Cade. And if they aren't bringing those guys. Maverick is just kind of, eh, we can't have Habana because she got banned. Time to bring the Maverick for the hatches. And that's the only time I really see Maverick played. Unless you really are playing him on maybe Border with his DMR and, you know, the spawn peak with the sign. I'm going to make a video on that. Whatever on that. Personally, I think Maverick can be higher on the list if you gave him maybe two more torches. I think that would be good buff to him but he's also really good where he is he does make the list at number four and let's move on to our number four or number three operator habana now habana with her we're talking about her recent changes with her pellets being able to go to six to four to two she can pop i have to do math here for a second several hatches for that aren't reinforced and she can pop three hatches that are reinforced if you go with the four. And if they're not reinforced, you can use the, only the two pellets and get so many. You're going to have so much vertical play with her. And plus, she can also get the wall open pretty easily now, too, if you know what you're doing. Her gun's great. It's got great skins. I mean, it doesn't matter, but the gun does. She can really do a lot of damage and help the team. There's no reason you shouldn't be bringing a Habana along with maybe Maverick or something like that to help her out. And I'd really just say that you're probably going to win most of your games if you pick her. That's all. And next up, we're going to have Thatcher on this list. I mean, come on, it's Thatcher. Do I need to really say anything? EMP grenades that disable Bandit, Cade, and any other electronics. Getting open the wall. Destroying any barbed wire, or anything, not barbed wire, but... Cameras, Valk cams, Maestro cams, Mute jammers, anything like that. You're going to be able to take them out with very little problems. You can't really go wrong with picking the Thatcher. He's got great guns no matter what you pick, except for maybe the shotgun, but that's up in the air. And he's got the SM... Does he have the SMG-11? No, he's the only one that doesn't. Hashtag give Thatcher the SMG-11. I'm starting it now. Type it in the comments. So... He doesn't have the SMG-11, but honestly, he doesn't really need it. He's got so much going for him. 
Thatcher really could be swapped out for number one on this list, but I'm going to go with, for number one, Ace. And I know Ace isn't as good as he used to be. I'm willing to admit that he is not as good as when he got released. But that's for the better. Let's be honest here. If he was as strong as when he got released, you wouldn't be wanting to play this game right now. I don't know if you even are. But she can do so much. He's got a projectile hard breach. Kind of like Habana's, but a little different. Come on. It's a can that you throw and it busts open the wall. It's kind of funny, almost. He can just open almost any wall, as long as he has support from the Maverick or Thatcher you bring. So he's not really going to struggle in that department. He's got three breachings, or Selma's charges, I think those were... I think those are what they're called. His gun is technically the best attacking gun on paper, even though that's up for debate in my opinion. I'm not a huge fan of the AK-12, but it's there if you want it. Because he doesn't really have much else to bring. But he's a really damn good defender or attacker. You can't really go wrong with picking an ace. I personally play him. Pretty often when my team needs a hard breacher that I know can get the job done. He's just so much better than Habana or Thermite because he can stand back away from the wall. Hide behind a corner and toss it. And he's not really going to have to engage in a lot of fire to get hurt to bring up a wall an enemy might be behind. It's going to be very good. And even if the bandit trick works, you're probably still going to have one thing down. And that's enough to get a peak hole through and maybe get a couple kills there. And with that, guys, that's my list today. Let me know if you agreed or disagreed with my list down in the comments below. And make sure you subscribe to keep, to keep hearing these videos and my helpful tips on how to improve with Siege. And until next time, peace.